This tutorial will review how to group extensions. If you require multiple extensions to ring at one time, you will need to group each extension that you want to be a part of the group. In order to do so, you would need to go to each extension individually and in the upper right hand corner select a group number. In our example, we will group two extensions, extension 100 and extension 210. First, access the Extension tab. Select Extension 100. Beside the Group option, select 2. Apply your changes by clicking outside of the setup area and then clicking on the Apply Changes button in the lower right hand corner of the page. Next, access the Extension tab again and select Extension 210. Beside the Group option, select 2. Apply your changes by clicking outside of the setup area and then clicking on the Apply Changes button in the lower right hand corner of the page. You must now place these two grouped extensions into a virtual extension or call group. To do so, access the Extensions tab. Select an unused extension that has the word virtual after it. Enter a name for this virtual extension. In this example, we will use Sales Group. To receive voicemail to email notifications, enter a valid email address. If you need more than one person to receive this notification, enter a distribution email address. To receive the WAV file of the message in the email, select either Yes or Compressed beside the Include Attachment option. If an email notification is only required without the WAV file, select No. The voicemail operator would be where calls would ring should someone zero out while within the voicemail box. You have the option to choose which extension should ring should a caller do this. To exclude this virtual extension from the company directory, click on the box beside Directory Exempt. An offline number could be entered if the group did not want calls going directly to a voicemail box should the system go offline. To set up the call flow for this group on an always enabled basis, under the default dial sequence section, select Extension. Next, select Group 2 from the options and enter the number of rings for the group. Select what the terminating step should be. In this example, we will select Voicemail and choose the sales group's virtual extension number for the mailbox where messages will be left. To set up the call flow for this group on a schedule, under the Alternate Dial Sequence section, select Enabled On from the options. Enter the hours of the day for each day of the week. Next, choose the extension from the list of options and then select Group 2. This is the Sales Group's extension, followed by the number of rings. Next, select the terminating step of the call. In this example, we will select Voicemail and insert the virtual extension number of the sales group. You will now need to tell the system what to do outside of the scheduled hours and on any days where we did not enter times. In our example, we will have all calls go directly to the sales group's virtual extension voicemail box. To set this up, select Voicemail from the options under the default dial sequence and choose the sales group's virtual extension number. To save these settings, click outside the setup area on the page and click on the Apply Changes icon at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. This concludes how to group extensions.